Hello and welcome to week 26, 27, and 28 of my devlog. Took some time to get this update out, mostly because I kept running into lots of major problems. Uh, but this update's a fairly major one. Um, so what I've been working on is ropes, making sure the ropes work correctly. As you could see in that uh, last couple of videos, I've showed off the sheet from the back of the rope to the hand. And you can pull it and it actually pulls the, sh the, uh, the sail. But uh, one thing that I was finding is that ropes, when they became what they should be completely taut, they just weren't doing that. Um, they were still, still sort of ha uh, hanging a bit. So I spent a bunch of time uh, trying to figure out how to solve that, and I finally did, and it's my little secret, but uh, it should be working really well now. So the other major thing is because I have the ropes working right now, and I also had shown off the sheet, which is the rope that attaches from the sail to control the uh, sail, uh, I've gotten all of that stuff working together and just spawn a little bit of a boat, jump in here, and I actually have a sailboat now. Now I have to grab, so I grab the uh, rudder and I straighten her out and I'm actually starting to sail. Now these sheets and, or sorry, this this is the sheet, it's actually controlling the, uh, the jib sail. The main sail is locked because I was having problems of getting a sheet attached to it and I wanted to get this out on this Friday, but uh, I'm actually sailing physically. So right now, if I grab a rope, pop it out, you can actually see if I let this sail out, it starts flapping and loses power. I'm gonna hit a, uh, the wall pretty soon or this land pretty soon, so I'm gonna just do a quick jibe. And what a jibe is, is when you are sailing and you switch sides, but you switch sides with the wind behind you. So right now I'm turning around it's going pretty slow because sailing is a pretty slow sport. You can see that now the wind is behind me because the uh, sail is flapping. It shouldn't actually be doing that. I have to figure that out. Uh, but now the sail has switched to its other side, which means I've done a successful job. And then I can lock it into that uh, thing. Now you notice that, oh God, you notice that this is actually not... Um, showing up on the surface. I can get that going, but I have to do a little bit more testing to make sure it works with this new boat that I've set up. But uh, yeah, the major thing is that the forces that are affecting the sail and making the sail actually full are also being, oh, I better not hit that rock, are also being applied to the uh, rigid body on this boat. So this is actually realis uh, realistic sailing uh, as far as you can get in a video game. Um, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not setting the speed. It's just all forces acting upon the uh, the sailboat and driving the sailboat forward. So now you can see we're probably going about three, maybe three or four knots, um, which is a little bit slower than this boat can go, um, but it's working quite well. So what else? Oh yeah, so I completely broke all of the networking for the sailboat. Um, so grabbing this thing is not gonna work across the network. Those are things I have to fix. It's not as hard as figuring out all of this new stuff, like getting this cleat working, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's not working very well. Um, the other thing is that this boat probably would go a little bit faster if I let the uh, this uh, sail out. It's actually not providing that much power to the boat right now um, because it's flapping back and forth. Realistically, in a sailboat, if you've got uh, the sail this way, it's either going to be on one side or the other. Um, I got to fix that, but it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, so now as you can see, I've sailed away. And the other thing is, I'm gonna just move over here a little bit. So I've, I've moved the tiller the opposite way and now the rudder is, is facing that way. So now I've lost a lot of my power, but what I'll do is start moving this way. And then the sail becomes full again and Let's start going on a broad reach. So, so I'm keep switching this, grab this. So now I'm like sort of uh, sailing uh, manually. You'll notice also if I pull this back at one point, oh, I guess I gotta do this like this. At one point, this sail will become as full as it possibly can be. And you can see how it's jerking there. It's actually releasing on my hand. So it's slowly going down um, on my hand, which means I can't, forever pull the sail in. At some point, even if I grab it here, it's gonna still keep jerking down, which means I can't overextend the sail and make it uh, completely, uh, like I can't overextend the sail and make it bigger than it actually physically can be. Now you can see right now I'm going pretty quickly, I'd say about three, maybe four knots, 
which is almost at the max speed of this boat. Got about eight knots of wind going on right now. Um, so this is a pretty uh, standard um, speed for a sailing boat. It may look a little bit more boring on your 2D, um, 2D vision because you are going quite slow <laughs> compared to like a cart. Oh God, I'm gonna hit something. But uh, it feels a little bit cooler when you're actually in the game. So the last thing I wanted to show you is I want to show you attack. So I've got uh, a little bit of speed and what I want to do is actually push it all the way over and then come around. I should at one point start so the sail starts flapping. Pop the sail out. Let's see if this works. I actually haven't tested this yet. The boat all the way over there. I've still got some speed. And might not have enough speed to get around. Uh, let's see. Well, at least the sail's flapping. So I think I still have some work to do on the viscosity of the uh, of the um, boat because realistically I should have had enough speed to use my momentum to turn around. When you're tacking upwind, what you need to do is get enough speed going forward and then you switch, uh, flip over onto the other side and the, the sail will flip over to the other side and the jib sail will go to that, uh, that other side there and then give you the... Uh, give you the tack you wanted. And that's how you go upwind. You can never go straight upwind because the, the sail would just blow, but you have to go like this, cross over like this, and over like that. All right, so I'm gonna jump out now and uh, talk about a few more things. So I've actually hit a really important milestone, which is I finally have a sailboat with two sails sailing through the water, and it's only using the physics uh, the physics engine that I provided it. So it's floating based on the, the shape of the hull, the shape of the mesh of the hull, it's sailing and getting its power from the way the wind is hitting the sail and driving it forward. It's going in certain directions based on the way that the rudder and the keel are working. And this is major because this means that I can put any sort of boat into the game and I'll actually be able to sail it realistically as long as I tweak a few things, make sure that the colliders are set up correctly. But this gives it a fairly powerful um, ability to just throw more stuff in there um, as we come. So. The next step is to get the networking working again. Um, I had done a lot of work on making sure the networking was working with the smaller boat, but that was a lot more manual work and uh, setting up specific um, things. But I want to get it so that I can throw any boat into the game and the network will work. You can talk with people. I think that's probably still working, although I haven't worked on it in a, a couple months. But get all of that working and make sure that the sailboat will sail forward or you can sail someone else's sailboat um, so they'll own the sailboat in the game uh, mechanics, but you can jump on there and grab uh, ropes and pull them in and, and set the, the, the right angles. So that's fairly big. Then the next thing after that is setting up sound and making, sound sh uh, making sure that the soundscape feels awesome. Um, and then that'll make the game so much more uh, engaging. And then after that, I will release into early access. So I'm actually getting pretty close to releasing the game soon. Um, I have to go back and figure out what I need to do to make sure that the, the sailboat can tack around a corner, but you know, I'm, I'm getting pretty close and uh, I was really happy that I was able to finally get it. I was trying to hit this point at 26, uh, 26 weeks, which had been a half year of working on the game, but missed it by a little bit, but deadlines aren't uh, always made. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Le leave any comments or suggestions as usual, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye everyone.